Hello, today we're going to disassemble one more uh, Acer Nitro model. Uh, this one is uh, the model AN515-54. Uh, we're going to open the laptop, replace the thermal paste and reassemble everything back. Let's start of course by removing all the screws. They should all be the same size. Now we have to separate the bottom plastic. Let me see. We want to start from. We're going to open the laptop and we're going to separate the plastic. You can use your your nail or you can use something sharp all depend just make a tiny gap so you can start separating it After that, on the back, do the same. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the battery because we can accidentally drop something and we may short something on the board now the first thing that I always do I always tie the hinges because with the time they're getting loose and this can cause more problems now we're gonna remove the screws On both of the fans and we're gonna remove the screws which are holding the cooler the, the screws are in very bad condition Probably the laptop was open a lot of times with the wrong screwdriver. Now we have to disconnect both of the fans carefully just slide them backwards now in order to remove everything we're gonna slide it a little bit left to right and we're gonna start pulling up
something like this. Now we're gonna clean the old thermal paste. This is a, a special thermal pad compound. I'm gonna leave it like this. Otherwise I have to replace it, but the original one is much better than the thing that you can buy on eBay or someplace else. So my advice is to leave it like this if it's in a good condition you can use um, isopropylic alcohol or whatever you have around you Now we have to clean the cooler. like this now we'll try to open the we'll try to open the fans so we can clean them if there is some dust in them just let me find a proper screwdriver Otherwise, I have to replace the tips on mine. Just be careful not to touch anything on this side. Otherwise, you have to replace everything. I have very small space in here, so I'm sorry if not everything is visible, but that's the situation. You can see what's inside. On this one. And on this one also. I'm going to show that to the customer because he says he cleaned the laptop. Now I'm going to use a brush to clean everything.
this is pretty much the result everything is clean you can play a little bit more and use some alcohol to clean but there won't be any big difference as long as the the path for the hot air is open the cooling will do the rest now we have to put back the screws you can use a machine oil to lubricate the fans if they are moving is not very free but these ones are okay so I'm not gonna use any if you're using uh, just be careful with the with the amount you're applying otherwise everything will spread around the fans and it will become much stickier and the dust will stick much easier now after we clean that we have to apply the new paste I always recommend using a good thermal paste I use uh, Arctic MX2 or MX4 depend what you have around you but use a decent paste otherwise it will get dry very fast and things will be the same like before the cleaning don't apply too much paste otherwise everything is going to spread around the CPU and next time you open it you'll have more problems cleaning it when you put the cooler and you put the screws back they will apply even pressure on the on the cooler and they will spread the paste evenly now we have to align everything back like this be careful slightly push everything down and put all the screws back don't tie them at once otherwise there is a chance for you to to crack the crystal on the CPU or the, on the GPU just put them all and after that tied everything back don't tie them too much otherwise next time you're gonna round the screws again now we're gonna put the two screws on the on the fans Now we have to insert the fans back. You have to hear a small click if you connect everything properly. The locking mechanism makes a little clicking sound like this we don't need that anymore now after everything is plugged back double check everything and now we're gonna plug back the battery always double check the battery 
because sometimes I forgot to plug it and after that I have to disassemble the laptop again just for one battery uh, double check if the fans are moving freely and put back the cover again start from the up and after that on both sides like this double check if everything is closed properly there's no big gaps and just we're gonna put all the screws back which is the boring part you can skip it after that if you like You can apply this video for uh, most of the Acer Nitro models, they're all constructed the same pretty much. You just have to remove the screws and just lift the back cover. Let's double check again. I don't know if the laptop have any battery. I think yeah. And it's booting fine as you can see. Basically that's the whole procedure. I hope you find the video useful. Like and subscribe if you do for more videos. Bye bye for now.